Let's start. Today we will see how to implement the stochastic indicator in the TradingView Pine script. This is the indicator function with the name stochastic. A stochastic indicator has two lines, one is the D line, and the other one is the K line. K is the stochastic, and D is the moving average. First, we call the input.in function to accept the user inputs for the lengths of the K and D lines. Then, we call the stick function to calculate the K line. The first argument is the source of the stochastic. Here we have used the close value as the source. The second and third arguments are the current high and low values. And the last argument is the length. Then, we call the SMA function to calculate the D line. The first argument is the stochastic, and the second argument is the length. Then we plot these two lines. A stochastic is a range bound indicator, which ranges between 0 and 100. So we plot the overbought and oversold lines at 80 and 20 respectively. And finally, we give it a background color. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see, this is the input panel. And this is the stochastic indicator. The green line is the K line, which means the stochastic line. And the red line is the D line, which means the moving average. So that's it. That's how you can implement a stochastic indicator in the TradingView Pine script. Thanks for watching.